Hello everybody, it is Ali Diecast, and we're back. We're going to try the green screen again, this time with some blistered cards. And uh, to see if we can't, oh, just have some more fun. I'm not going to do this every time. It's a little bit too much work to do in every video, but I want to see if I can get this green screen learned and figured out. Well, that's one of the reasons I do this is to try different things. But we're going to look at some American muscle cars in this one. I think all these are American muscle cars. If this was like a cable channel, I just thought it should have some, uh, there'd be some like catchy intro, like American Muscle! Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. I'm not going to do that every single time. But anyways, that that's the start of my cable career there. Anyways, we'll start off with an old 442. Uh, this one is from 2000. Is that 10? I think that's 2010, the red version. I really like these old 442s. I think there's three of them in here. 2007 Dodge Charger. SRT 8. This one never really looked like a Dodge Charger to me. Out of all the different Dodge Chargers, that one looked a little strange. There's one other one in here, and you Charger fans know which one that one is that just does not look like a Charger. A Mustang Mach 1. 1970. This one from 2006, the blue purplish version with the uh, Hot Wheels livery on it. Superbird, one of my favorites. And you know it's got to be a 70 because they only made this in one year. This one in blue. This one, by the way, the, for the new folks, that's a international short card. We don't see these too much. Here in the U.S., we only see them really at... Um, Toys R Us, every once in a while, they'll show up there. Not so much anymore. Some people only collect these, but uh, they're not really my favorite. 2006, oops, knocked down my little, my little stand. This one, 69 Charger, there's a lot of Chargers in here. Can't do a show about American muscle cars and not have Chargers in it. 69 Dodge Charger. This one's interesting, and I probably have this story a little off, but if I remember right, it's the same version. It's this this bluish purple color. I guess that's more purple than blue, uh, with the silver stripe on the back. But if you see it with, I think it's silver flames all the way across the side. Same card, same everything. It's, I think it's part of the main line. It's worth a small fortune, <laughs> and uh, you should buy it. I've seen one, and it, the person that had it knew what it was worth, but I really thought I had that one because I knew it was part of this mainline series, 2005, but uh, I didn't know mine didn't have this, the flames on it. So there you go, a little bit of, little bit of trivia. Another old 442, this one, just in case you forget what kind of car you've got, you could have somebody tag it put olds on it with 442 on it just in case you never know you might you might forget 3d series this was in uh 2000 what was this like 98 or something this one's 99 yeah this is probably a 2000 or a 99 version and here's another one this one with the hot wheels racing team decos on it This one is from the following year, I think the following year, year before. I think this one's a 98, the other one was a 99. Willies. This one's interesting and it probably won't really show up well here, but this same color version from 2008 had a grill variation and if I see if my zoom will work there this one see the um, the teeth or the striping in the grill there right there uh, that is sanded out or gone in some versions the grills there it's just the details in the grill aren't there it's a variation I forgot which one's worth more the one with the with the marking or not, I think one's worth a dollar more than the other. Neither of them are worth a ton. Here's a cool coloring for that. Another 41 Willys Coupe. This one, police version. And this one from 2006. 
one of my favorite colorings of this car. This car is great for customs. It's got a lot of real estate on it. It's a big car. Here's the 2008 version. Orange. Another 2000. Well, this is the, this is the uh, I said 2008. This isn't 2008. This is 2000. First editions. Next up, here's another Willys, by the way. This one just happened to be laying around here. This is the blue version of the orange one you just saw from 2000. That's the first edition. This one has a really nice satin blue paint on it. Very cool. Let's see if the green screen held up with that. <laughs> here we've got a Corvette Stingray. This one from the Tattoo Machines version mini-series from 1998 and evidently in 1998 well we were still working on the whole tattoo thing because we weren't very good at tattoos according to this we just made things stripey so our tribal tattoos were not very tribal back in 2008 here's a Corvette you can't have a American muscle episode without a Corvette ZR1 2008. This is the first edition. First time we ever saw this guy. From 2008? Well, nope. 2009. I thought that was a 2008. Ah, well. What you gonna do? Sometimes you just get it wrong. It could be... might be 2008. Maybe it's... It might be on a 2009 card. You know how they, at the end of the year, they kind of switch cards around? I bet I'm right. I bet that's 2008. Um... Cougar. This one's a 1968 Mercury Cougar. Mercury Cougar is kind of the lost, forgotten muscle car. There were so many muscle cars out in 68, all at the same time, that I think Cougars kind of got forgotten about. Uh, this one came out in 2007. This one also came in a green color. Camaro. There's a lot of Camaros here. 69 Camaro. There was like six or seven color variations or wheel variations of this same car. Here you go, there's the red one. He happened to be next. Red version, same one. Uh, did you know between 2006 and 2007 there were 20 variations of this same car that were put out? So there's a lot of them on these cards that came out all at the same time. It's hard to keep track of those Camaros. Dixie Challenger. This one from 06, oh, it says on it, what is it? 09, 09. And uh, this one, a lot of times goes by Dodge Challenger, Dixie Challenger, the name tends to change on it. Cool flames on that one. Let's see if this one holds up on that green screen. If that car's still green and not gray, I've done my job. <laughs> This is from 2007, Dodge Challenger Concept. thought there was another one here, but it's not the next one in line, so I don't know. This guy got mixed in. I said it was all American muscle, and it's a Nissan Skyline. Well, you guys love the Skylines. A lot of people love the Skylines, so I guess you won't be too upset if there's a Skyline in there. We'll, we'll welcome him into our American muscle club for the time being. This one is from 2005. No, it's not. 2006. Is it 2006? 2008. Ah, uh, that's 2008. It's a code car. 2008. 55 Chevy from the Surf and Fun series. This one has a base variation. This this one, um, uh, the, the date is stamped on some of them and not on the other. I think it's like 1999, I think, on it. I think that's right. And some of them have it, some of them don't. They're worth, I think, the same price no matter what, but it is a variation. Here's another Chevy. 53 Chevy. 
53 Chevy looks different than all the other Chevys to me for some reason. This was first edition. Uh, there was a dark purple version, and then Kmart put out it was either a rust brown or an orange color version of this one. Kmart exclusive color. Here's another one. Let's hope that's a green car. <laughs> Those greens are getting awfully close to my background color. So this one came, uh, this is the exclusive Kmart color. It's exclusive Kmart green or exclusive Kmart gray, depending on what goes on here in post-production. 68 Nova. This was part of the Redline series. You can see it's got the Redline tires on it. Not Redline cars, just a mini series that they put out. Here's a Camaro Concept in red. This one from 2007. There's a five pack version of this that I've never seen with different wheels on it that's worth a little bit more. Um, there was a lot of these that were put out in um, 2007 onwards. Uh, they've used that casting quite a bit. Funny cars, it ain't America without funny cars. 2010 Camaro SS, custom Camaro. This is the first edition. Very cool for my concept or for my uh, customs. I love those hood scoops. Most of these funny cars get get chopped up. <laughs> they go to the chop shop. Thunderbird. This one's a 58. By the way, that green stripe right there, if I'm pointing at a brown or a gray stripe, that is going to be about as close of a green to my background, my green screen, as you want is going to get. So. If that thing is still green, we've got green screen success. <laughs> Impalas, a long line of Impalas coming up. This one, WWE, Eddie Guerrero, Impala. I don't think Eddie Guerrero is with us anymore. This one from 2002. Here's a 2001 Impala. The Mummy, he drives that one to work. It's part of the Monster series. Part of the Monster series. This um, this one, this series isn't the best of the Monster series. I love the monsters and the dinosaur cars, but not the best. 65 Chevy Impala. Another one. There's another 65, this first edition. You're looking at the 2005 version. This is the, I don't know what version this is. This is uh, 98. Didn't change much from 98 to 2005 with that one. Purple, got the web spokes. Almost done. This one, Pontiac Firebird, 70 Pontiac Firebird. This was does not look like a 1970 Firebird with those wheels on it, but uh, that's what it is. 2001, this one came out in a few different colors. I think it came out in a blue and a white, if I remember right, or a red, a red and a white, something with a white stripe on it, I remember. Ford Mustang, here's another one of those. When they put those big tires on it, it makes them look really modern. This is a 69 Ford Mustang. This one came out in 2007. Javelin. Here's another forgotten car. The AMC Javelin. When you talk about muscle cars, the Cougars and the Javelins get overlooked quite a bit. Here's the Charger I was talking about. The Charger RT. This is when Mercedes was really heavily involved in the design. I think it was right after Mercedes um, hooked up with Dodge. And this just looks like a Mercedes. <laughs> it looks a lot more Mercedes-ish than Charger-ish. <laughs> Not my favorite Charger, but that is the 2001st edition of that model. Here's another, here's a Challenger concept. That looks very much like the Challengers we see on the road today. So 
probably it is. It's just back when they made this one, it was just a concept. I wonder if they changed the name, like if the car becomes the car. Is there any example of that? So if the concept becomes a, a production model, do they change the name? <laughs> funny car, Mustang funny car. This one goes under a lot of different names. This one is from 2008. We've been taking out a lot of the funny cars for our downhill races. So, okay, that's about going to do it. I'm going to put a car up here while I sign out. I should have signed out as I was talking. So, thanks for watching. Check out the other videos. Subscribe, like. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers right now. You could be the 1,000th subscriber as the posting of this video goes up. So, everybody, thanks again. I will see you in the next video. Bye.